Juventus 14 years ago who were fortunate to scrape through 1-0 in the third round of the Cup Winners' Cup. Hacker also midway through the season and clear by seven points in the league. They are up for it, there's no question at all about that. Rangers come to a country which posed them serious difficulties in the past. Last time they were there as the game starts, they lost 2-0 under Graham Souness who left the ground giving a fair imitation of Vesuvius and eruption and given the temperament of Dick Advocate he wouldn't take too kindly to that either but he's approached this tie with the the greatest caution ball picked up there immediately on that left hand side Yemi watch number nine Martin Reynolds, the man from Holland well, I said before that uh, many teams have come here at the, the pitch uh, the surrounds and considered that this would be an easy option standard Rivers, Amoroso, Positivo Moles, just got offside Rangers have packed the midfield they've got uh, Giovanni Van Bronckers, Barry Ferguson McCann and Reyna all playing in midfield, Stefan Kloss the man who was criticised of course by the manager most specifically is in goal, isn't bothered one little bit about it. Adamchuk gets his opportunity at right back because, of course, Serge Perini is suspended. And Adamchuk's attacking capabilities we know only too well. How will he defend? Well, we'll see in this game. pitch is in ideal condition maybe a trifle uh, just a trifle on the grass Ferguson Reynard deciding to go for it himself Reynard need little touch on Moles almost gets in there as Tero Pentia sticks up there number two big tall player there is a medical student and captain of the side Doing a bit of doctoring and defence there, all right. That's the time gone. Goalkeeper there, Andres Vilnrotter, the oldest man on the side. Van Bronckhurst, as usual, with all his corner kicks. Vilnrotter, just that gentle shove away in his... The manager was saying yesterday, Keith Armstrong, he had to watch Rangers at these set pieces, given the fact that Amoruso and Moore would come forward. Wolves. Gets out of that tangle, almost. Flag is up, though, I think the ball's gone out of play on that far side. The average wage of this side is £20,000 a year somewhat different at Ivers good run forward by Wallace nobody coming up quickly enough inside him touch there by Adamchuk his first real touch Reyna good position there by Van Bronckers to let fly good position again by the midfielder coming in there Well, I think a proven point about all the Rangers midfielders like that shot there, they can come up, take up position like that, and let blast. Reynard. There's a run forward by Newman, that's a typical run by Newman, who's inside the box from, it's Moles trying to come up. Beautiful move forward by Arthur Newman. Well, I watched them playing in, in Dutch football, Newman, and also for the international team it runs like this he didn't get that quite as cleanly as he would have liked it's not just the pace of Newman it's the time when he decides to come forward it's very effective now the goalkeeper gets protection from the referee Andras Vilnrotter so I experienced the football in Sweden as well you'll see the pressure putting the goalkeeper here a lot of swing in this. And Russo just backing in. Van Bronckhurst, Bowles. The 
picked up by Wallace. What a start to the season Barry Ferguson had last year. Seemed to be a little bit jaded. But uh, two-thirds of the way through the season. Then he got that injury, of course. Quickly played again by Rangers in midfield. This is Ferguson. He might go for it. He does indeed. There's a touch and a beautiful save. First real shot of the game, bringing out the best in Andros Vilnrotter. And I think uh, Rangers had intimated early just how they would play that, keeping possession, working to get a chance like that, and bringing out uh, that right-handed save. He had to look lively right across his line for that. Reyna. Newman. Just a little bit too close, but you can see the, the aspirations there of Rangers on the left-hand side. A lot of good touch forward. Reyna. There's Wallace. That's a free kick, surely. Now, it will be interesting to see who takes this first position that we've got into. Oh, yeah. There's the challenge from the back. Those at all about that that by the way is what makes Rod Wallace such a dangerous player whether he's facing goal or is back to goal he has that ability to turn quickly well Amoruso's there remember George Alberts is on the bench today Van Broncos and Barry Ferguson hovering at the back it's Amoruso and it's him Strike. in 17 minutes. Revelation for the tiny bunch of Ranger support, and there was no way they could stop that. Oh, I think he's pleased that George Alberts is on the bench for that particular reason. He loves taking free kicks, and this is exactly why. Whatever the bigger Italian, who, as I said, at that controversial start to the season has now implanted himself very firmly in the favour of the Rangers' support. <laughs> Reiners, the Dutchman, he's hardly been in a ball, that's a useful ball, there's Amoroso again. Adam Chuk, trying to blow up, Well, that surprised me, the referee didn't stop the play there, that's Popovich. Reina can't get there, little pressure now. Free kick as Barry Ferguson goes in, I have to say a little bit recklessly. I think uh, Barry Ferguson uh, an immaculate touch to his game, but this, as you can see here, is something he has to develop. It's not the best tackler in business. So, free kick. Can the Finns at this stage emulate the big Italian? Well, they're enjoying themselves. 30 minutes gone. He's in that comfortable position facing this free kick. Popovich might just take this. Also, Ivanov, the other Russian. And indeed, it is Ivanov going over it. Wallace coming in. They missed it out. And rightly deciding to take the ball away himself. Follows players to get forward a little must say that goal has uh, added a little bit of grit and determination to Hacker looking a much more purposeful side now and that far side is Yari Nemi and also taking no chances as I said a bit more initiative about the way that Hacker are playing this Did well, Niemi, to get that ball in, and as you could see, Amoruso had no choice whatsoever. Then that far side, Nysenen. Moore, very good cleanse by Moore, and there's Van Broncos back in defense again. Rasenen, the man who conceded a penalty at Ibrooks uh, against uh, Rangers when he was playing for Monable. And that 
just slips over. Well, Klaus has been a mere spectator, and that's always a good sign in European football. I think any side under any circumstances in Europe would be pleased to be one up after 22 minutes. Moore, simple, straightforward. McCann had drifted out of position. We're in the far side, by the way. Dick Advocat is his usual self, uh, gesticulating a lot and doing little dances just in front of the players' bench. Totally involved manager. There's Hacker seeing much more of the ball now. And that should be too close. They said it was just uh, a trifle hesitation in the middle of the Rangers' defence as the ball was played down there. Let that go in. Out came Kloss there. There's McCann. Starting to go that little wonder. Moore. Good position. American touching it well. Ferguson, Newman. Moles leading the line very well. McCann. Moles, beautiful skill by Moles. Oh, magnificent goal. Well, there's been great pressure on this man. who's only scored two goals in the friendlies. He came golden boy of goal scoring in Dutch football tremendous pressure and what a way to relieve that pressure if there's any doubts about why he has been brought to Ibrooks there you are cute little turn there although I have to say it had to be with a bit of strength to keep possession Moles again. That's good control. Reina. Just missing out of it. American has a, a casual look to him. It's very deceptive though. He, he eats up the space a lot. I, I watched that in the World Cup when he played for the States. There's a run by Newman again. Can he get to it? He does indeed. There's Wallace. Well, we've seen that so often in the game. The way they've spread eagle that defense with good one-touch football and the adventurous touches like that of Rangers fullback onto the head of Wallace it's difficult to see how a hacker can pick themselves up from this one <laughs> pretty fortunate the ball came to his level there's Wallace on the run Inside to Moles again. He's going for a little chip at goal. Just over. Gets a corner out of it, though. Well, and the, the few touches, and they have been fairly few, with an economy of effort, Michael Moles has been very impressive indeed in almost getting a second. Relaxed look about Giovanni Van Bronckhorst as he goes to take that. Will bother that defense again. Touched away by Carolina. Uh, and I think that clearly Adam Chuk has been told to make no runs down the right hand side. Just sit back in there. I think there was always going to be a danger from Ivanov on the left-hand side, the Russian. One by McCann, it looked like a push to me. Oh, beautiful play by McCann. Van Bronckers, there's Moles again. Good tackle there by Pentila. Well, Hakia is simply making no progress when they get the ball in midfield just about here. Lacking in ideas, giving the ball away. Here's Moles again. 
Is he going to lay it off? He's going for it himself, and it's just on the wrong side of the post. A little bit exasperated, and to be honest, a little bit unfortunate. Once again, he carved that up for himself. Tried to little faint to the right side. Here's Reyna. Wallace makes the run now. Taking plenty of time on the ball. Adamchu. Just uh, a more leisurely approach in the way Rangers are playing us now. Ferguson. No weight behind that. But again, again there was an opening. Carved that out uh, particularly well. You see to the ground more than anything. There's a run by Adamchuk. Shielded the ball very well. Gets that across to Moles. Good control by Moles again. Oh, superb. Almost a replica of his first kill. Now that was intense pressure on him there. I, I know the opposition is not of the highest quality, but look at the way. He has to control this ball when it comes up. We'll see it again before he puts it away. The elements in this are the control the composure and then the f in that order there's a control a little bit of composure and in the slightest dab not with as hard a strike as the first one but delightful all the same and this man is now beginning to make his mark almost in a classical way Rangers three up they're just playing the ball about intelligently. There's a run inside there by Reyna. Back had gone Hacker to mass in defense. Reinders. Just about a couple of minutes of this half left. Impressive performance by Rangers, and yes, I suppose will be an assessment based on the quality of the opposition but if you've been asked to do a specific job you come out and do it in style and that's exactly what they've done Newman Ferguson confident touch of Rangers in this game Van Bronckhurst There's so many variations to how Advocat could choose his selection this season, the starting 11. This will not be the starting 11 in many games, I can assure you. There's a run. Newman should have that uh, covered all right. And wisely lets it go. Newman, in part of his recovery period, there he is. Uh, Concentrated a great deal, a little languid uh, wink, which rather symbolizes the way Rangers are taking this now. Uh, he concentrated a lot on uh, sprint training and such, as witnesses great power of recovery. McCann into Ferguson. Reyna, once again, veering towards the left-hand side. Moles almost picked it up. I suspect he'll be looking for his hat-trick now. Zamoruso. Swept that run nicely to Van Bronckers. Good control again. And there goes the half-time whistle. That's a... A comfortable position for any team in Europe uh, to be playing it's been done with touches of great class and certainly the, I don't think there's any question at all about it any doubts about Michael Moles have evaporated in that first 45 minutes as Rangers go off into the dressing room leading by three goals to nil. Margin after a 
An excellent professional performance by Rangers in that first half. Great deal of good things to be said about a Rangers team which uh, certainly could pick up the pace even more. Choosing to be economical in the way they come forward. Good tackle by Newman. Hard press there by Yari Niemi. And he's provided beautiful little touches of class in this game, Arthur Newman. Just the wrong side of Van Bronckhurst. At number that time, Wilson tucks the ball away from him. Picked up there by Savalena. Here's Rassenen. Reinders has hardly seen the ball, the Dutch player, the Dutch striker. And trying to play that inside was Ivanov. Ivanov, a, a goal scorer in the Finnish league as well. He's got four goals there in the last half dozen games. So he's very much an attacking midfield player. Moore, sudden rush of blood to the head that time. There's a chance. It's in. By Yari Niemi. All stemming from that ridiculous piece of play there by Craig Moore. There seemed to be absolutely no pressure on him. And they pulled one back. And I can tell you, Dick Advocat has come out from the dugout screaming, and no wonder. There was no cover there. Newman, a little bit slow coming in, but I, I don't think Newman could believe what happened to Moore. Gave the ball away so easy. There's a goal scorer, Niemi. Nicely played out by McCann. Van Bronckers, Ferguson. Rangers flooding forward. There's Rina. Goes, can he tuck it in? Oh! Right on the verge of his hat trick. And the ball, I think, played just a little bit too much to his right-hand side, as you'll see here. The American international comes up and goes, and he had to lean back a little bit to try and get hold of that. Picked up by Newman. Tries to get it to that left foot of his. He's very left-footed. Ferguson. Is it on Van Bronckhurst? McCann hasn't any support there. Try to get to the line. He gets it back again. Away he goes. He's on his own. And the goalkeeper bravely going in there. And I think a little touch of temper there as the captain, Piero Penti, I did not like that challenge. Goalkeeper getting the benefit of the doubt. On to McCann. Trying to swing the direction of play again. There's Moles. Let's see how he can take his man on. He does, and that's a good save. It looked like the third one again, and as I said, he's got this little deceptive sway that took him away from the defender again. Here it comes, wiggle and away. Got underneath it, but the goalkeeper made absolutely sure. The Finnish international, Johnny Hansen, will be playing wide on the right-hand side. There he is getting his first touch. And he gets a special cheer from the Finnish crowd. Very much respected for the way he plays for the international team. Albert. Adamchuk. Deciding yet again. Not to attack on the right-hand side, just to lay the ball off. Amoruso. 
maybe just getting a, a trifle frustrated at some of the movement by Rangers up front without producing anything. The big captain has come forward now. Not cap. That's not a bad ball and mole underneath it again. He really had to stretch for that. Now that really ought to be put away. That should have been a trick with 20 minutes of the game remaining. He's had two opportunities like that. I think this was easier than the, the first one he put far. Albert, that's a good ball by Albert. McCann has face. Moles is inside. He's got to be covered though. And across came Lassa Karjelinum. Big fella number three there. Oh, the goalkeeper looking rather phlegmatic. I, I think he realizes, as must the entire Finnish team, that all is up. So we shall have Reina. In came Amoruso. Huge figure leaning in towards the goalkeeper again. There he is. Well, he's got the deftest of touches as well. That's a good ball. Well, if you've got a captain who can defend as well as he can and also come forward like that, it's something special. It goes to Ferguson. There's a shot. And you can see right away it was angled far too wide. So the Rangers captain deciding to mix it towards the end of this game. Here he is. Sometimes he does that uh, much too near his own goal at times. Ferguson with the touch. Now Reyna. Reyna again and I think the challenge by Johansson gets the free kick. Well, I think the interesting thing about the next leg is how Rangers are going to be this, realizing that Palmer are going to be scrutinizing them exhaustively. The degree of uh, what kind of team there's a, a gift away by Moore has been a little bit rattled since giving that goal away. By Albert. Argelena. Human almost got it there, touched inside. A little more possession here as Hakubara picks it up or tries to. Now Sabalena. Very tied down the right hand side. Human coming away with it. Even though he's pressurized, Newman has this uh, touch of class to keep his composure. Play it safely to an opponent. tentative as I said now there's Johansson using his pace trying to get in behind the defender well he did get it over there might have been a slight touch by the uh, the fullback <laughs> Johansson certainly didn't get up there simply at his best when the ball is played well in front of him tremendous pace he has He was almost on his way from Rangers at one stage towards the end of the season. Well, I think he's got to be a very useful addition to what could be a very long and exhausting season for Rangers, especially if they got through to the latest stages of the Champions League. Here is Ferguson. Going through and he's on. Can he finish it off? That's a very good save. Now it was Barry Ferguson who turned the tide of the game in the first place with a real shot at goal and here he is surging through 
near the end of the game. Not quite getting hold of it again. Clearly a talented midfielder whom we will see maturing month by month. Albert. Bowles. Bowles again. That's a beautiful reverse pass. Alberts inside and Reyna coming into the box and I think Alberts was unselfish there. I thought he was just about to take the net away and then he slipped it inside and Reyna just a little bit too late. Here's Adamchuk. First time he's been near goal and Johansson coming in for the kill cut off by the goalkeeper Wilnrotter. Just under 10 minutes remaining. Tried to get that out to Reyna. Well, they play the ball about or have done since the start of the game without making much progress. Only in the, the last 15 minutes have they put a, a kind of point to the play in midfield. That go over, go kick. Another player in that uh, far side there, Rassenham. He's had a hard time of it. Rangers in particular keeping the ball away from the midfield players very intelligently for most of the game. I do think uh, it'll be interesting to get an assessment from the Rangers players afterwards, but I think one or two are tiring in midfield. hasn't started yet they're playing the finish side and the fins are always very basically fit and they're halfway through the season <coughs> meanwhile Adamchuk on the far side about to take this drifting forward to Moles Laying that all beautifully down the, the side of his foot. Now Albert. McCann almost got away with that. And the captain again coming in. He said some very timely tackles. The six feet four Tero Pinkia. There's McCann. Moles, superb. Challenging play there. Ferguson will let fly again, and this time on the defense. Well, Michael Moles has been full of that. His two exquisite goals, of course, cap the kind of skills that he has. Watch it again as he... Wow, we missed out on that first delicate little touch. But he did lay it back to Ferguson. I think what is very noticeable ab about Moles that even in a defence that packs around him, he can prove to be elusive with uh, the putting the foot in the ball, swaying the hips, getting away from uh, very tight marking. Well, Barry Nicholson is uh, coming on now. Youngster who played occasionally for Rangers, of course, last season, mostly in the full back position as Claudia Reyna goes off. And as I said, I thought some of the players have been tiring out there, and Reyna especially. Just a little bit too much in that. Coming close to five minutes of the game remaining. really positive reply by Rangers to those who looked at some of the friendly performances in, in Norway especially the coach of Hacker Keith Armstrong kind of wrote them off his McCann going in 
Well, I think he, he trod in the ball more than anything else. His opponent was beside him. But he really took off very well. This is the captain again in well. He's been pulled back. The right arm of uh, Ted Pintia was out there. Here's Ferguson. Jonathan Johansson, that's a wonderful save. Ben Rotter had no chances with the Rangers' goals, but I think he's proving his worth there. We heard a lot about his abilities. And he got down very well to that shot by Johansson, who would love to have scored in his native country. Albert. That's him, yes. Shirley Moore might get the credit. We'll have a look at that. It was Moore who was up there. Moles certainly making sure. Jonathan Johansson swinging in there. So Rangers really should have been four, five, six up in the second half for the chances they had. Watchers swinging in, headed in there by Moore. And then rammed in Johansson, it was just making absolutely sure of it. Ramming that in. There's Ferguson. We watched a really excellent performance by Rangers in the first half. Okay, they shaded off in the second. That's maybe not at all surprising, given that they're playing against a team who are physically very strong indeed in Rangers season not really underway and this of course has always been a difficulty in playing so early in Europe but they've overcome that As I said they've established a style of play which you can churn out so well so often Ah, oh, Johansson no doubt the coach has encouraged Ferguson to come forward the way he did in this game and shoot whenever he can. Seen four great efforts by him in the match. Nicholson. Actually stabbed forward there to George Albert. Is he going to let fly with one? He is. Almost took the ribs off uh, Lassie Kalia Yenem. Nobody down the right hand side for Haka. Play down now to Moore. I think uh, Moore will want to forget this game. Not that he had a total nightmare. I don't want to mean, uh, suggest that. But he, against uh, a team that didn't look like scoring. Here's Moles. Can he get his hat trick? No. Right at the end. Bill Rotter. Oh, they've got it themselves into a tangle. And Moles is done there. There he is lying at the edge of the box. He was in a, a pretty hard collision and sportingly put out there. He may have taken one in the ribs. Well, we're now into stoppage time and the referee is suggesting that they bring on the stretcher. Uh, it would be a bit ironic that uh, this Dutch player, who as I said was an idol, in his hometown of Utrecht with, with to come and show us the tremendous class he has and then get a serious knock. He has got up. There he is. Took it right across the legs, I think. And that will be a, a touch of concern. We'll find out later on about uh, the extent of that. He may be okay. Walking around the ground very tentatively. There's Nicholson. Johansson has simply been put right through the middle where he can play, of course. Albert. Free kick. Well into stoppage time, and I think only a few seconds remaining. And I suppose the only concern now is over that challenge on Moles. Uh, the final whistle goes, a bit of an anti-climax uh, just before the free kick was taken and Rangers applauding the supporters, about 80 strong here who I'm sure have been impressed, especially by the first half performance
and the, the tremendous individual skill of Michael Moles who scored two superb goals in the game which will hardly be bettered all season. Rangers would settle for any result like that away from home anywhere, especially in Europe. It comes very sweet to them as they head, even though there is another game to come. Heading for Parma, I'm quite sure, and leaving this field contentedly, having won by four goals to one. So there we are, Rangers defeating FC Hacker by four goals to one. The second leg at Ibrox next Wednesday evening. And as Archie said there, Rangers surely only have to go through the motions to win a place against Parma in the next round. The views of Stuart McCall immediately after this break. Don't go away.